to Sky Academy. What is demonic intelligence? Wow, I really learned a lot about Disgaea. There's actually a ton more, but I'm glad you're getting why it's so great, at least. Um, actually, Mr. Ranger. Hmm? What's up, Zombie Maiden? Is there, like, an easy way to level up in this game? What? Are you trying to cut corners? No, I, I get that this game is super fun. It's just that it seems like getting to level 9,999 would take a long time. Ah, uh, right. In fact, I figured this would come up sooner or later. Uh huh? You predicted this? <laughs> it's okay. Disgaea has a very thorough system in place to help build your characters up. This includes an auto battle feature that uses AI. Let's get into it. Oh, this game thought of everything. Okay then. Open your books. Use Poltergast for auto battles. This makes leveling so much easier. Once you've cleared a stage, you can burn special Poltergast fuel to run an auto battle. Oh, so you can automate things to level up all you want. Oh, I'll have everyone maxed out in no time with this. Nice one, Disgaea! Hold on now. Life isn't quite that easy. Look at the top right of the screen. Huh? What's that? The numbers dropping? This shows the remaining amount of poltergas. What? Why is it disappearing? Well, it's because you lose one each time it's your turn. The longer it takes you to clear a stage, the more poltergas you consume. Beware! What? So hard stages take a lot of poltergas? Don't worry. There's an efficient way to auto battle so you don't burn through your poltergas. Next page! You can use Demonic Intelligence, or DI, to run auto battles efficiently. Demonic Intelligence? Yet another weird term. <laughs> this is truly the key to getting the most out of your auto battles. Basically, Demonic Intelligence allows you to set a character's behavior during auto battles. Let's try setting the Demonic Intelligence for this healer character. Whoa, there's a little grid now! This is the settings screen. You can input character actions in detail here. Hmm. You pick support allies. Prioritize characters with low HP. Use special healing power. Oh! So this character will move to allied characters with low HP and heal them. Exactly! You're really picking this up. Let's apply what we've learned. Let's go! Okay. Support allies. Hmm. Allies with 99% or less HP. Uh, hmm. And prioritize characters with low HP. And then... If moved, healing power can be used. Uh, Move to nearest spot. And use the special healing power. I get it. So if a character took damage, this character 
goes to the character with the least health and kills them. Half right. You've still got some settings to go. Huh? I have to go down now? Now you're deciding the settings for when no character was hurt. And you've chosen defense. Meaning that this character will stick to defense if no character took damage. Plus, if an allied character took damage but the special healing power can't be used, then this healer moves close and takes up a defensive position. This setting has now been added. What? This is super detailed! It sure is! Of course, you can also set all sorts of options for characters skilled at attacking. By adjusting demonic intelligence to match a character, you can lower the number of turns needed to clear the stage, thus preserving your store of poltergas. So by using DI smartly, you can save your poltergas while leveling efficiently with auto battles. This is just getting better and better! New players can use default DI settings. Rest at ease. Okay, time to level up like crazy and make the strongest party ever! That's the spirit, zombie maiden! The end! Disgaea 7, Vows of the Virtuous. Coming to Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, and PC. October 3rd, 2023.